Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish, Move, Love, and we're coming at you with a 25-minute chest and arm workout. This one's all about the upper body, focusing specifically on the chest muscles, and I have the awesome Rachel with me. We are flip-flop and rolls. Rachel's gonna be showing you the advanced options. I'm gonna be showing you modifications, specifically how you can modify if you have a growing baby bump and need some help with the core work, since we'll be holding some planks and push-ups and fun things like that. Here is what your workout looks like. You have four circuits. Each circuit has two exercises. You'll always have an upper body chest exercise, followed by a chest plus exercise. So chest plus back, chest plus shoulders, chest plus triceps, and biceps. So we are gonna hit everything in the upper body, but we're really gonna focus on fatiguing our chest muscles. All you need are some dumbbells. We have anywhere from 20 to 15, 10 pounds. You can toggle between them. I've got an added bench and stability ball for some modifications and show you how you can modify some of these exercises. And then that's it. You're doing each exercise for 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, times two sets. It's a basic 40, 20, but it is a solid upper body strength workout. And it's only 25 minutes. Are you ready to knock this out, Rachel? I'm so excited. Let's go. Let's get started. We're gonna get started with a nice warm up, you guys. Let's get that chest nice and warm. So go ahead right here. Let's just stand and flap. Okay, so feet are underneath my hips. Nice, tailbone is tucked under that rib cage right there. Got a nice solid alignment. Just flapping out those wings. Gonna warm it all up. Nice, go for four, three, two, one. Big inhale, reach up nice and tall. Exhale, baby back bend. Think about pulling those elbows down towards your hip pockets. Just opening up the chest and shoulders. Awesome, from there, take your hands to the small of your back. I'm planting the back of my hands on the small of my back, and I'm gonna spread my chest apart. It's a big chest expansion. Shoulders roll down and back. Chest spreads apart right there. Big inhale and big exhale. That should feel really good. Reach up one more time this time. Forward fold, reach for the toes. Plant the hands and step back to a quadruped position. So I'm on all fours. Cat cow, drop the belly, lift the chin. Reverse it, tuck that spine. Look at your belly button. Nice, we talk a lot about keeping a nice neutral spine throughout push-ups, plank, all right? This is fine, that neutral spine. Now arch that back. Nice, we don't wanna have that while we're working, but it's a nice little stretch. Come back to that neutral spine. Now arch it the other way, spine up towards the ceiling. Awesome, hold right here, pulling the shoulder blades apart. Take the right arm, thread it under the left. Oh, it feels good, you're gonna spread those shoulder blades apart. We're gonna come back to this at the end of your workout, so you can look forward to that. Come back to center, same thing. Spread those shoulder blades apart, reach over other side. Awesome, come back to center. You're gonna go with that spreading apart. You're gonna step back to a high plank. I'm gonna show you a modified plank from your knees. Scapular retraction. So think about dropping your chest towards the ground, letting those shoulder blades fall out, and then pull the shoulder blades apart. Scapular retraction. So drop your chest towards the ground. Now pull it apart. Nice, we want that nice scapular retraction. Drop the chest, pull the shoulder blades apart. Nice, nice strong shoulders, drop the chest. Pull those shoulder blades apart, awesome. From here, option knees or toes, you're gonna give me one push up, and then you're gonna walk back to a bear crawl. So I'm just walking back to quadruple position. Rachel's gonna be hovering, knees off the ground. Walk out, you're gonna be in a high plank position. Give me a push up, push up. Walk back to bear crawl, knees can hover. So you can do this option, you can always drop to your knees for the push up, and then hop to plank and walk back to bear crawl. Warming up the chest, the shoulders, and the core, getting it all right there. One push up. Walk back, awesome. Nice, from here, drop down to that quadruple position again. Go ahead, take your right hand behind your head. Drop the elbow, thoracic spine rotation, open. So drop, rotate, and open. Nice, drop, rotate, and open. Gaze follows elbow, warming up that spine. Nice, other side, switch it out. Left hand behind the head, right here. Drop, and open. Nice, core stays nice and tight. And open, two more right here. Drop and open, last one. Drop and open, come to a kneeling position. Take those hands, interlace them behind your fingers. Big inhale, chest expansion. Pull the knuckles away from the tailbone. That should feel really good. Nice, back to flapping those wings as you come up to a standing position. Big inhale, reach overhead, pedal the arms to the back. Open up the chest, shoulders. Soften those knees, go for three, two. Switch directions, come to the front. There you go, finish this warm up, four. Three, two, and one. You ready to jump into this upper body chest and arms workout? Let's go. Circuit number one is chest and back, the two largest muscle groups in your upper body. We're gonna knock them out right away. I'm gonna bring my stability ball into play. You're doing a chest press. I'm gonna do it from the stability ball. You could use a bench. Stability ball, Rachel's gonna show you how you can do it on the ground. Good exercise to go heavy on. I'm gonna reach for those 20 pounds right here. 
See if I can gracefully get on this stability ball while staying in frame. There we go. Nice work. Awesome. So chest press, palms face out. You're just going to exhale, push. Inhale, lower with control. Rachel's doing it from the ground. You're doing it for 40 seconds of work. It starts in three, two. Let's go. Exhale, push. Inhale, lower with control. Chest stays puffed out. Nice. Lower with control. You only got to do each exercise twice. Let's go heavy here, guys. Let's make it count. Chest is the second largest muscle group in the upper body, often undertrained specifically by women. So important for our posture and all those pushing movements you do every day. Think pushing a grocery cart, right? That push pull of opening up doors or pushing through doors, pushing a stroller. If you've got kids, especially on those stroller runs. Awesome job, nice work. Big inhale down, exhale push. Using the stability ball is gonna give me greater range of motion. Good stretch at the bottom. You're in it for three, two, and one. Awesome job. You're gonna gracefully get yourself up. Nice, you're gonna come over. I'm gonna use the bench. It is a push-up burpee into two single arm rows. Let's go single arm rows on the right side, right? So I'm in a row just on my right arm. You're gonna give me a push-up burpee. So I'm gonna do it from the bench. Come up, two single arm rows. We go there in three, two, let's go. Step or hop back, give me the push-up. Step or hop up, two single arm rows on the right. You're just rowing on that right arm. Right here, you got the push-up. Hopping up to a burpee, two single arm rows. I'm using the bench here, giving you a good modification option. Incline push up, take some pressure off the core, using a little bit of support on these single arm rows. You get to choose your pace, your tempo. Come on, guys. You're only doing it for 40 seconds. Right here, chest and back, put it together. You got 10 seconds left. Big complex movement right here. Nice work. Stay in it. You got four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, we're gonna repeat those two moves. Back on, chest press, chest press. Grab those heavy dumbbells right here. You got about 10 seconds. Thank you, Rachel. Get yourself set up. Big inhale, let's set it up. Chest press, nice. On your beautiful backside, I got my neck and shoulder support on the stability ball. You need to bench, you're going three, two. Let's go, exhale, push. Inhale, lower with control. Like I said, if you're using a stability ball or a bench, you're gonna get a little bit more greater range of motion. Glutes are also turned on to support me right here. Exhale, push. Your pace, your tempo. You got lighter weights, you wanna burn it out, go fast. You got heavy weights, you can go slower and steadier. Come on, you choose. You only gotta do each exercise twice. It's 40 seconds. Striving for about 10 to 12 reps within that 40 seconds. You got this. Nice work, team. Come on, you're in it for five, four, three, two, and one, awesome job. We're back to push up burpee. This time, two single arm rows just on that left arm. Push up burpee, two single arm rows just on the left arm. Chest and back, we put it together. We did the right arm, now we do the left arm. One push up, one burpee, two single arm rows. Bench or no bench, you ready, Rachel? Let's do it. We go in three, two, let's go. Give me the push up, the burpee, the two single arm rows. I got a nice supported tripod row right there. You can choose what works best for you. Come on, one push up, one burpee, two single arm rows right there on that left arm only. Nice work, oh, I did two push ups right there. I was like, why is that so hard? Above and beyond, Lindsay. Right, above and beyond, gotta save that chest. Gotta save that chest, it's gonna get spicy in here. Nice work, guys. 10 seconds on the push up burpee. You got it, 10 seconds, let's go. Stay in it, nice work, you got five, four, three, Two, I'm gonna finish these two single arm rows and call it good, nice work. Grab a quick sip of water, that's chest and back. Knock it out, we move on. Chest and shoulder, chest and shoulder. You're gonna give me a chest fly. Okay, chest fly, lying on your backside. I'm gonna use the stability ball again, two dumbbells, creating that nice arc shape, right? I'm gonna use the stability ball, Rachel's is gonna show you from lying on your back. Same thing, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. You're gonna go right from the chest fly to some standing work, okay? Reverse front raise, lat raises. Woo, shoulders are gonna get spicy in here. Thank you so much. Rachel, this is why you need a workout partner to hold your stability ball so you don't like fall in your booty while you get on. Chest fly, so I'm lying on my backside. Arms are straight overhead, palms face in, soft bend in the elbows. Open, exhale, pull it together. 40 seconds starts in three, two, Let's go, soft bend in those elbows. You're gonna open. Again, 
Using the bench stability ball, I'm gonna get a little bit greater range of motion than I would with the ground. I can go past where maybe my arms would hit the ground. It's really about that exhale, pull together, big squeeze of those chest muscles as you pull together. Nice, big inhale down, exhale, pull together. I love a good chest fly. I Something. do too. And you know what? I never used to do these before I started doing your workouts. I never worked out chest. I was one of those people. Under train, women, come on. We want a strong chest, strong upper body. There's this misconception that since we have breasts, we don't need strong chest. That is so false. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. And we're going to come up to a standing position. Okay, standing position right here. You're going to give me one reverse. Okay, one reverse front raise. So palms are facing me, soft bend in the knees. Lift right up to shoulder height. And then two alternating lat raise, lat raise. One each side, we go in three, two. Let's go, palms face me, lift right up to shoulder height. Exhale, take it down, palms face in. Fly right, fly left, nice. Flip the palms, palms face me. Lift right up to shoulder height, nice. Flip the palms, palms in, fly right, fly left, awesome. This reverse front raise. Hello, chest and shoulders working together. And then we're gonna isolate the shoulder with that lat fly. Again, it's about that slow controlled movement down. Don't let those dumbbells just fall down. You control them down, right? On that fly, I'm going to about 45. It doesn't have to be straight in line with my shoulder. It's slightly in front of my shoulder, actually. Come on, you're in the first three, two, and one. Recover. Awesome job, guys. Those are your two moves, chest and shoulders. Repeat them. Chest fly, basically just super setting moves back to back in an effort to fatigue and burn out, okay? Minimal rest, you got 20 seconds of rest. Almost gone. Setting up that chest fly. Chest fly, guys, we go in three, two, let's go, chest fly. It's the back to back with limited rest that makes it hard, right? Working that same muscle group. Really getting after that chest today. Adding in those other upper body muscles that also are working at the same time. You got some shoulder involvement here. Nice, big inhale down, exhale, pull those weights together. You got it. Soft bend, I'm thinking about keeping my hands about right in line with my nipples. Exhale, pull together, nice work. Stay with it, come on. Those last two to three reps should feel really hard. You're in the final 10 seconds. Weight should start to feel heavy. That means you chose the right one. Come on, you got five, four, three, two. Can you give me one more? I think you can. Nice work, guys. Here we go. Those final two to three reps should start to feel real heavy. That's how you know you chose the right weight. If it's feeling too easy in this 40 second interval, time to up your weights, guys. Time to up your weights. One reverse front raise, two lateral raises in three, two. Let's go right up to shoulder height, palms face up. Flip the palms in, fly right, fly left. Now if you got lighter weights, you can always double up those lat flies. Double them up, I got heavy weights. I'm going 15, that would be hard for me to do a double lat raise. So I'm alternating. You get to decide your workout, what weights you got. Like I said, those last 10 seconds, last two to three reps, should be to the point of failure. And that's how I know I've got those right weights. Come on, here we go, you're in those last 10 seconds. You're in those last 10 seconds, let's go. Get those weights up right here. Final five, four, three, two. You're gonna give me one more front raise, cause you can, woo! There we go, chest and shoulders are done. Quick sip of water, two circuits down, two to go team. Two circuits down, two to go. We're on chest and try, chest and try. I'm gonna be lying on your backside the whole time. I'm gonna take it from the stability ball. You have a narrow chest press. Palms face in, dumbbells are gonna to touch, squeezing the chest together. Lower to the chest, push. Using chest, shoulder, tricep. And then you're gonna go from one narrow press into skull crushers. We're gonna put it together. So you're gonna stay on your backside the whole time. We're gonna fatigue it and burn it out here. Narrow chest press, narrow chest press with triceps. Are you ready? Get on your backside. Nice, right here. Arms are up, straight overhead. Dumbbells are touching. Dumbbells are touching. I'm gonna lower into a narrow press. Elbows graze the rib cage. We go in three, two. Let's go, so lower to the chest. Exhale, push over. Lower to the chest, exhale, push straight overhead. Nice. As you push overhead, think about squeezing those dumbbells together. The more you can squeeze those dumbbells together, the more you're gonna activate those pecs, those chest muscles. So we're trying to work here. Drop to the chest, push straight up. Narrow press gets me a little more shoulder tricep engagement. 
narrow press, chest, shoulders, triceps, all working together right here. These are your three upper body push muscles. Make them work, let's go. Strong chest, strong shoulders, and strong triceps. Come on, you're in it for five, four, three, two, and one. Take a quick recovery. Now you're gonna do one narrow chest press. You're gonna give me one of those. Separate the dumbbells right into three skull crushers. One narrow press, three skull crushers. One narrow press, three skull crushers. Are you ready, Rachel? Shake out those arms. We go in five. Pick up your dumbbells. Arms overhead, narrow press in three, two. Let's go, narrow press, separate them. Skull crush for one, for two, nice. For three, put those dumbbells back together. One narrow press, separate them, skull crush. For one, nice work. For two, and three right there, put them back together. You got one narrow press, three skull crushers. Let's go, chest. Shoulders, triceps, hello triceps, there they are. They're starting to shake, you're in 10 seconds. 10 seconds, that's where you should be. Come on, come on, circuit three right here. Keep working for it. Yes, you can. You're in the final three. Two and one, woo! Shake those arms out, 20 seconds rest. We're gonna stay right here. Narrow press, repeat it. Narrow press, narrow press skull crushers. How are you feeling? My little triceps, oh my gosh. Right? because they've been working the whole time. Narrow press, they're involved with every exercise. We go in three, two, let's go. Last time, 40 seconds of narrow press. I know you're starting to feel tired here, right? We need to drop those weights, you drop the weights. The goal is just to keep moving throughout this 40 seconds. This is where I close my eyes, I dig deep, I focus on there's something special about working out that I just love. I can get so in the zone right here, I'm focused on all those muscles burning but it allows me to just lose everything else that's stressing me out right now in life, right? Just let it go. This time is about me, for me right here to get stronger, to dig deep, see what I'm made of. Come on, what are you made of? For five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, it burned, but it felt good. All right, you guys, one more. One narrow chest press, three skull crushers. One chest press, three skull crushers. Let's finish it, Rachel. We are so close. Let's bring it home. Whew, let those arms shake out. You got five seconds. Pick up those dumbbells. We go in three, two. Let's go, dumbbells together. One narrow press. Here we go, separate them. Three, go triceps for one, two, and three. Just bending right at that elbow joint, right here, come on. One narrow press, whoo. Triceps, like you said, they're fatiguing. They're fatiguing easily because you've been using them for these narrow chest presses. So it's a tough move back to back, back to back super setting. Come on, like I said, this is your chance to just close those eyes, dig in, and focus on how sick and strong you are. That muscle you're building to make a better you, a stronger you, better wife, better mom, better spouse, better friend, daughter. Come on, you're in it for three, two, finish it. Ah, there it is. Woo, nice work you guys, proud of you. Three circuits down. We got one circuit left and we're gonna take it from a standing position. This is circuit number four. You're gonna take it from a standing position. We're hitting chest and biceps. I don't know about you, but it's like the arms start to feel bigger and oh bigger. You're like, whoo, I got a pump. You yeah. got that pump going on. All right, we are gonna go alternating standing chest fly. So think about drawing right pinky to left shoulder, left pinky to right shoulder. Standing chest fly, 40 seconds of work, okay? Woo, gotta roll it out. Check it out, guys, circuit four. Chest and biceps. You ready to finish this workout strong? I, I'm already looking forward to the stretch. Already looking forward to the stretch. feels so good. <laughs> Let's go, grab those weights. Standing chest fly. Draw the right pinky to the left shoulder. Soft bend in the knee, is core is tight. We go in three, two, one. It's 40 seconds, opposite arm, opposite shoulder. Exhale, lift up. Palm stays facing up towards the ceiling. Nice little standing chest fly. Good alternative. A lot of different ways to work the chest with just a set of dumbbells. We hit them all today, right? You got the chest press, you got the chest fly, standing chest flies, narrow press, and you only had to do push-ups once. What do you think, Rachel? That should was we, pretty nice. Should yeah. we finish with a bonus round of push-ups? Lindsay, you can't pin this one on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think we should. Come on, 10 seconds here. 10 seconds, finish out these standing chest flies. Yes, you can. You're in it for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, set those dumbbells down. 
Awesome job, shake it out. You're gonna give me one chest fly, so just one arm goes to the opposite shoulder, two bicep curls, palms face out. One chest fly, two bicep curls. That's where we go. All right, Woo. got that solid arm pump, we go in five. Right arm, left shoulder, in three, two, let's go, just one fly right there. Now give me two curls, two curls, palms face out. Nice, one fly on the other arm, one fly, two curls. Chest and bicep, chest and bicep, not a commonly paired muscle group, but today we're gonna do it, today we're gonna mix it up, right? Chest and everything, yeah. Chest and everything we're doing today. Halfway guys, halfway. Chest and biceps right here. Finish this arm workout nice and strong. Come on, you got this. Yes, you can. Keep curling, one rep at a time right here. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, let's go. You got this. Stay strong, guys, you're in it for five. Four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells down, shake it out. One more set, one more set. Chest flies, chest flies and curls. That's how we finish this bad boy. And there might be, might be a bonus round. Might be a bonus round on the other side. We'll see where we land. Five seconds, pick up those weights. Chest fly, let's go left hand, right shoulder. Left hand, right shoulder in three, two. Let's go, left hand, right shoulder. Always good to occasionally mix it up on you. Start with the opposing arm. Palms are facing up. Chest is strong. Shoulders are strong. Core is strong. A lot of core work in here too, you feel that? Those obliques, those abs, transverse, deep core muscles turn on. They gotta stabilize you as you draw that arm up towards that opposing shoulder. Come on, stay in it. Yes, you can, yes, you can. Come on, let's go, finish strong, guys. Right here, what would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? 10 more seconds right here, you're gonna drop those dumbbells and shake it out in five, four, three, two, let's go, finish it, drop it, shake it. Woo, one chest fly, two standard bicep curls. Let's go, bring it home, bring it home. We're so close, so stinking close. Always feels good to have that quick shake out, right? Here we go, grab those dumbbells. Chest fly, left hand, right shoulder. In three, two, let's go. One chest fly, give me the two bicep curls. Curl it and curl it, let's go. One fly, there it is. Two curls, come on, curl it and curl it, nice. Let's go, one fly, curl, curl. Finish strong, guys, right here, finish strong. You got this, yes you can. Woo, burning it out, burning it out. I even feel those biceps, man. Oh my gosh. Woo! Come on, you decide. How hard is it gonna be? What weights are you gonna grab today? Get after it. Yes, you can. You got 10 seconds. 10 seconds to dig deep. Right here, show yourself how stinking strong you are for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, drop those weights. Shake it out. You ready for the one minute burnout? No, 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 no. It is one push up. Two knee drives, chest and core, chest and core. We didn't do a lot of push-ups, so now's your chance. You're gonna give me one push-up. I'm gonna take it from an incline. One push-up, drive, drive. You can take them wide. We'll go wide knee pulls, I like that. Oh, there you go. Take those obliques. Yeah. One push-up, two wide knee pulls. It's one minute. Oh, my lanta. Just one, one minute. One minute, one you minute. can do anything for one minute. <laughs> one minute, guys. One minute starts in three, in two. Let's go, one push-up. Two knee pulls. See, I even threw in the wide knee pulls. So you're not just doing one minute of push-ups. You're getting core. Nice, you get a break between each push-up. Option, drop to the knees for the push-up. Pop to the toes for the knee drives. You decide what works for you. Elbows are falling back towards that rib cage. Woo! You always love the bonus round, don't you, Rach? <laughs> it's a Lindsay classic. Ah, it's a classic, classic way, push-ups. Classic way to finish chest day. Holy bananas! Halfway, guys, 30 seconds. Come on. Yes, you can. You need a quick down dog stretch, you take it. Come on, dig deep, right here. Woo. You can do anything for 20 more seconds. I know you can. I know you can. Come on, you wanna finish leaving that chest. That chest is just totally fatigued. Totally fatigued. You got 10 seconds to find it. Find that total fatigue. Are you there yet? Come on, five, four, three, Two and one. Found it. I think we got there. Found it. Yeah. Woo! Nice work, guys. So proud of you. That is chest and arms. Let's stretch it out. We're gonna start. We'll go right here. We'll stay kneeling. Feels good. Feels right. Hands behind the back. Big inhale. Chest expansion. Oh yeah. Open it up. 
whole lot of chest, shoulders in there too, right? Totally. Woo! Nice chest expansion, that feels good. That feels good. From here, we're actually gonna flip over onto your booty. Reverse table, counter stretch. One of my favorite stretches. Fingertips face the butt, legs bent at 90 degrees. Lift the hips, just let the neck and shoulders hang heavy. Oh, that feels so good. So tight in the chest, shoulders right now. Nice, a good stretch to come back to 24 hours after this workout. Right here, lift those hips, let the neck and shoulders hang. Hold for three, two, one. Take it down to the ground. Awesome job, let's come up and over. We're actually gonna go, we'll do a quick cat cow. Quick stretch for that spine. Drop the belly, lift the chin, reverse it. Tuck that spine up towards the ceiling. Ceiling, looking up at your belly button. Nice, from here you're gonna come up. That half kneeling windmill, so left leg on the ground. Left toes tucked under, right leg up. Take that right leg out to the side. You're gonna tick tock your arms down. Okay, option stay here. Think about pulling this palm back towards the wall behind you. Option, reach around for a half wrap, opening up the chest and shoulders. Also gonna get a nice little inner thigh open right there. That should feel oh so stinking good, opening up those chest and shoulders at the same time. Nice work, so proud of you guys. So proud of you. Let's bring it back, back to a quadruped position. You're gonna go puppy dog, hips stay high, hands walk away. Forehead comes to the mat, just reach those fingertips away from you. Nice stretch here, create length from the fingertips down to the tailbone. Opening up, just big inhale, big exhale. That feels good. Nice, bring it back up. We're gonna go to half kneeling other side, okay? Half kneeling position, taking the leg all the way out over here. Tick tocking the arms down, thinking about pulling this right hand back towards that wall behind me. Option, stay here. Option, reach around for a half wrap, interlacing my fingers right here behind my hip. Nice, opening up chest, shoulders. This should feel really good. Also a nice little hip opener too, bonus stretch. Hips, chest, and shoulders, you're getting it all. Hold it here for three, two, one. Awesome job, we're gonna finish with a quick neck stretch since those shoulders tend to creep up with all that work we did. So think about just rolling the shoulders up, down, and back. Pull up towards the ears, take it back and down. Nice, from here, holding those shoulders down, take this hand to the top of the head, nice little gentle neck stretch, that should feel good. Gonna open up right here, ear to shoulder. Now you wanna increase it, take that hand, wrap it behind you, palm is gonna face out, away from the body. That's gonna open up the traps and the neck and the shoulders. Right there, we get it all. Love a good neck trap stretch, especially after a good arm workout. Nice, release it, roll that neck side to side. Awesome job, same thing. Other side, roll it all the way over. Right hand to the top of the head. Nice little gentle neck stretch right here. Opening ear to shoulder, drop that shoulder. Nice, take it around, palm faces out. Nice little trap and neck stretch right there. That should feel so good. So stinking good. Nice work and roll that neck side to side. That is it you guys. Your 25 minute chest and arms workout. You knocked it out. If you love this workout, drop a subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, you can find more of our workouts, upper body, lower body, core, abs and core, hit, you name it. You can find it all at nourishmovelove.com. Have an awesome day.